hey everyone, happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you are having a fantastic Sunday. I'm hoping to get some more gardening. Thank you to everyone who left the nice comments on my personal vlog talking about gardening. If you're going to go check my personal vlog out, I'll make sure I leave a link below. It's going to be a little bit more of my personal stuff because a lot of people wanted to see kind of the gardening and some of the charity work I do. So go see that and uh, check it out. If you like it, stay and subscribe. If you don't, that's totally fine. Come back here for the main content. I want to talk to you today uh, about kind of the ability to go back in time and give yourself advice. Of course, we don't have a time machine, but it is a Sunday and it's the final episode of the current season of Doctor Who, which got me thinking about time travel. Um, and I have a character in kind of in the steampunk world who is a bit of a time traveler. So I like the concept of time travel. And I wanted to know if there's anything that you could tell yourself past you that you would go back and tell yourself. It could be uh, when it comes to transportation, obviously. So it could be uh, yeah, I, I, I wish that I had gone back in time and told myself to buy Tesla shares on day one. Or I wish I had told myself that I could have got that electric car a bit sooner. Or maybe it was, yeah, you shouldn't have got that car. You should have saved up a few more months and bought a Tesla or you should have bought a different car. So I want to know, uh, it's not really kind of about regrets, but it's kind of if you know what you knew now, five years ago, 10 years ago, what would you have said to yourself? I think personally, had I known 10 years ago what I know today, I think I would have, have, have told myself to be a little bit more militant about environmentalism and a little bit more insistent that people actually get off their butts and do something about it. I've been driving electric cars now for 10 years. The reason why I got into electric cars was because of the science and tech, but also because of the, the climate science. And so I've always been kind of interested in the environmental benefits of driving electric. And so I think I probably would have told myself to be a little bit more forceful in, in that regard. But the other thing I think I would have told myself, you know, 10 years ago, um, I couldn't have got. I couldn't have gone back and told myself to buy Tesla shares because back then I was like, no, I can't do that because I'm covering the industry. But I think I might have gone back and told myself to not buy the the Nissan Leaf that we bought when we moved to the United States. I think I probably would have told myself to wait and maybe get a brand new electric car or maybe to change the way I got that second car. I really loved my first generation Nissan Leaf. I really loved the second of the first generation Nissan Leafs we got. It was just really disappointing that the battery ran out so quickly. Um, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't export my first generation Nissan Leaf because I, I was going to bring that to the United States and that would have been a real failure on my part because I'd have just been so up the creek without a paddle. Um, the other thing I think I, I wish I had advised myself was to have got into solar panels uh, like 10 years ago because now we want solar panels on the house but it's not at the top of our priority list and we've got other things and so I think maybe I would have gone back and told myself no you need to put solar panels on your house today to try and save that money into the future. I think I probably could have saved myself a lot of money had I put solar panels on my first house in the UK but never mind. I want to know what your kind of advice to yourself would have been five years ago, 10 years ago, maybe even further. I mean, maybe if you've been, um, you know, interested in this technology, in this sphere, this world of uh, cleaner, greener, safer and smarter transportation, what would you have told yourself further down the line? Because, um, yeah, it would be interesting to know. Oh, and I think I probably would have kept my Volkswagen Golf City Stromer. I think I probably would have tried harder to have kept that because I really miss Tigger. My first, um, my first Volkswagen, um, electric Volkswagen, uh, my only electric Volkswagen. I, I really miss that. Factory built in 1985. And uh, I think I probably would have kept that as long as I possibly could. And I would have also told myself to have made sure that when I made a plug-in Prius, which I built myself, that I actually included thermal battery management so I didn't destroy it in 2009. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Before I go, I just want to thank those of you who jumped on the Take Two live stream on Friday and helped me fix the server. We have a massive server here. It's a 45 drive store in ATA. It is rock solid. 
really reliable server, but unfortunately it runs Samba, which is what we use as the file sharing platform between my edit machine and Erin's edit machine and the server. And apparently there's a bug in Samba, which means you have to keep restarting it every every now and then because otherwise it slows it slows even shows it slows down network traffic to an absolute crawl and that's what it had been doing for the last couple of weeks i was pulling my hair out and getting really frustrated but thanks to those of you who commented and helped me i was able to actually get all of my editing done before leaving the office on friday so thank you if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe support us through patreon buy us a coffee on ko-fi or buy some swag from our swag store I'll be back tomorrow with more great content, but until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Keep evolving.